All right, guys, it's got the uh, G pulled in the shop. It's got a rod knock. I'll put the clip right there. I'm gonna try to videotape as much of this as I can. But we're taking this rev up out. She gone. So we went ahead and got the hood off. Next we're gonna do air box. Uh, we're gonna pull the front course port out, the headlights, front crash bar, um, probably the horn and accessories. So that'll probably be the next step. When to wash fluid, coolant, overflow. Um, that'll probably be where we start at. All right, guys, as you just saw, we got the front course port off. Uh, we're going to start taking off the radiator, uh, the condenser, which is already unscrewed and stuff. So that's the next step. Clean out the front of the engine, and then we'll start with the air box because that's big and bulky. Uh, and then I guess after that, we'll probably do wiring. But we'll catch you guys up after we get the condenser and radiator off. So, uh, back at it. All right, guys, we're gonna unhook the main harness. It's down in there behind the dash. So we're gonna start undoing the main harness for the engine so we're not unplugging every single wire on here. Uh, it's gonna be easier to pull out that way. And we're not gonna need this for what we're doing. So we're gonna reach in here, go underneath the dash. It'll be kinda hard to show you guys, but uh, I'll show you once I get it unplugged. All right, guys, so we got these two connectors done underneath the dash, ECU, and I guess, I guess this is the fuse box, ECU. And I got these three connectors off right here, added to the chassis. So I got everything disconnected around, around the engine. Harness all unplugged. As far as I know, there's nothing holding on up here, wire-wise. Wire um, so, car's about to go up. So, I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to pull the motor out. I was going to use the jack, some brute force, get lucky. And then I just bit the bullet, bullet, the bullet, bit the bullet, and I went and got a hoist. So, I'm going to put this hoist together. And after I get together, I'll catch you guys up with me pulling the engine out. So, super excited. Hopefully have this done today. So, let's get this put together. Alright guys, I'm on the mess. We got the two-ton big boy. Uh, let's hope it fits. Because that's... Whew. We got the big boy all set up though. Excited to get it going. So about to jack it up for the first time, and then we're going to wrap some 
straps on the engine, find some good place to grab from. I'm gonna pick it up slightly, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go underneath and do the subframe, not the subframe, the transmission mount. Go ahead and pull the transmission mount out, put the jack underneath it, drop it down a little bit, so we can just wiggle it out. So that's the plan. I guess I'm gonna put it on a time lapse. Let's see, so you guys can see what's going on. But I gotta clean up my mess real fast. All right, guys, well, we kind of made a mess, but uh, it is out on our dolly. Not looking too bad. All right, guys, just gonna wrap it up for this one. Uh, got a fresh wash. I need to come back in here and really brush it out, get some actual cleaner, some oven cleaner or something for it. But hey, thanks for watching that video, and uh, hope to see you guys soon with some updates.